what is up everyone this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel and as i already told you that i'm gonna make a new video on how you can port a miui 12 days room for your device how you can do that this guide is little bit of complicated for you maybe and little bit of easy also so i already told you that this guide is only for those who have already miui 12 ported room or miui 12 official room available and they want to port some modded miui 12 rooms like mm -hmm. xiaomi's xtrv which is miui hellas or you want to port mi room or if you want to port miui emperor and cosmos and any other rooms like that which are which are miui 12 based and more did so that you can use those builds on your device this guide will work for almost all Android devices all all devices which are supported for me UI 12 now let's get started okay, so these are the files which you need you need first of all this broadly extractor we need image extractor also these two things these these are the two tools which we need to port some files and I'll provide the link in the description for both of these files and this one is a room and this is actually the base room which we need and this is the file which we need from our from our device like I'm using Gingo so I am using Miui Javanese as my base room which is actually the ported room but I am just gonna take it as my base room and I want to port room from here which is actually XTRV Xiaomi's Redmi Note 7's Miui Hellas it's also officially available for Redmi Note 8 but I am just taking it as an example so what what is the first step what we need to do is extract all of these files First of all, we need to extract both of these ROM files. So let's just extract. Let's wait for the extraction to finish. Let's extract both these things. Let so guys, as you can see, I have extracted both of these ROM files. This one is MIUI Javanese, which is already available for Redmi Note 8. And we are going to port this one, MIUI Hellas, for our Redmi Note 8. So how to do that? First of all, open your base ROM. And here you'll find these kind of files available. System new dot that, system patch, system vendor, system transfer, vendor new, vendor patch, and vendor transfer, and these kind of things. First of all, what you need to do is just click this file click this file and click this file click these three files and now we have to delete all these three files okay as you can see these three files are deleted now just go back and now we have to open this and here if we get a lot of files doesn't matter we just need to use these three files system files which are system.new.dat.br system.patch.dat and system.transfer.list so you can simply cut paste them or simply you can copy paste them whatever you want to do you can choose that so we have these all files are available now as you can see system vendor boot and all these files are available is it that simple wait let me show you one more thing just open your meta in open com open miui sorry meta in com google android and here you have to edit your updated script go to edit with notepad plus plus and here you'll see the things which you get after installing the room and these are the things which you get here like here you, you here you can see this is written as ui underscore print ui underscore print which is the thing which you get in updater script on your screen like this is the thing which you get in on the screen after downloading your build or these kind of things now what you have to do is just edit all these things so for example we have just ported this as uh, wait let me just show you we want to write miui xtrv port okay i am just taking as an example you can choose whatever else you want to do so repacker right now is tech current so just re-edit all these things So as you can see we have just written all these things tech current xtrv port let me note it Gingo. you can edit all these things if you want to it was quite simple now just save this thing and you are good to go now first of all what you have to do is now after all these things is just done so you can simply click here and now just make as a zip file the process is not done yet just watch this video till the end there is something more so I, I'm gonna share with you very soon all these things so just open and write everything whatever you wanna write now make it as a zip file right now okay so just click on ok it will start compressing just just wait for the compress to finish let me show you one more so guys if you're seeing this we have just made this zip file which is actually a room and we have just ported this lavender's 
Xiaomi XTR V Roam to our Redmi Note 8 and this is ready to flash right now. How to flash there? Just wait, wait, wait. Let me show you one more thing. We have just used these things. We have just we have these two things and we have to use them how we have to use them first of all open this broadly folder here we have these two files so we have to extract a broadly file which is that file open your ported rooms vendor file just copy and cut or whatever else you want to do so in my case i'm just cut paste i'm just doing cut paste everywhere here click on paste okay so we have all these files here now first of all just rename all these things Okay, so just rename all these things from vendor to system. Wait, let me just tell you how you can do that. System.new.dat.br. Now open this one. Now edit this one again. Rename. Okay, guys, so we have all these files are available now, which were actually the vendor one, but we have just renamed them to system.new.dat.br and system.pass.dat and these kind of things. Now, what we have to do is just click on the install button. Now it will extract your system.new.dat.br to system.new.dat. This is to extract the broadly file. It's done. It was quite simple. Now what we have to do is go to image extractor folder. Double click on image extractor file. Just click on system.new.dat. Now we have to unpack this by clicking on browse option. And here just go to and locate the file. And this one was system.new.dat. Click on open and now it's done click on start button now what it will do it it will just repack your system dot new dot that right now as a system dot img and then extract the system dot img to a folder so that these files could be accessible so just wait for the extraction so guys as you can see everything is just now files are extracted here click close button and now click on ok and you will see the system folder which is actually the vendor folder so what we need to do is we have to copy the overlay folder just click on copy and now just go back and paste outside wherever you can see it's saved so we have just copied this overlay folder here now the second thing which we need to copy is wait let me just show you we have to go to the etc folder and here we have to select the selenix folder from here and now click on copy click on back option and here just paste this file again so these two files are needed here so as you can see we have just extracted both of these files now we already made a backup we already made a zip file there wait let me just show you this one was so let's it's just ready for flash so just boot into custom recovery and just paste it and start it flash wait just wait a second and we have just gonna paste it right now and now after that what you have to do is let me just show you all these things make sure you're watching this video this is quite complicated for some of the guys and it's quite easy for some of the guys and if you just want to learn it's quite good and it's very helpful to learn these kind of things now let's wait Okay guys, so, so we just have ported the MIUI 12 bit for our device. Now it's time to flash. Simply move on to the wipe section and you already know how to flash a custom room. So simply swipe to wipe and let me just tell you one more thing what you are missing so that you will not face any errors. Note that this guide is not a fully guaranteed guide for a working guide because if you're using any other device and if you're facing any other issues or whatever else, I am not responsible for anything happen to your device because this guide is not intended for professional uses it's just for the normal thing if you want to learn something this is just for that so we have just used this miui xtrb.zip as you already got to know click on swipe to install and you will not face anything as you already got to know we have just edited this was a miui xtrb port red be noted gingo repacker stack current and we have just edited it ahead of you you already got to know that so just wait for the installation to finish and let me come okay guys we've just installed the build and we have just formatted data now what we have to do is first of all let's go to the computer screen once again here we have just copied these two files now just copy these two files from here go to your device internal storage or wherever you want to go click on paste and paste both of these files now what you have to do is just go to your phone once again go to your menu go to manage partitions and sorry go to mount and click on system and vendor mount both of these things go back 
where we have just copied the file first of all which was overlay click here you can simply move the file to wherever you want to choose go to your vendor here we have already have an overlay option just don't worry click swipe to confirm it's done now the second thing was selenex click there click on move and here we have to go to the etc folder and click this one click swipe to confirm it's done it was quite easy it was quite simple now we can simply reboot our device and we'll be able to boot it into this custom room the latest one ported for our device and yes if you're wondering we didn't try it we didn't change anything in the build prop you can make any changes whatever you want to do just after first reboot just make sure it boots and if it's still not booting you can simply delete the selenix folder and you can try that or you can delete the overlay folder and you can try that it's quite simple and this was about all about the short idea about how you can port a miui 12 base room for your device okay so this was all thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video as much as you can and now this was all thanks for watching goodbye